Um, hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, in this video, I'll be talking about an argument that um, some skeptics bring up. Um, um, so they'll say that um, they'll bring up the argument that if God created everything, well, then who created God? Um, first of all, um, I would like to add that yes, God did create everything. This means that He also created the concept of space and time, along with the laws of phys physics, which we are all subject to, and He created the com concept of beginning and end. But remember, outside of space of t space and time, and outside of beginning and end, there exists eternity. God alone has ex existed for eternity. Not us humans, not the planets, not the moon, just God. Um, not even the angels. So because God exists in the, in, in the eternity, He does not need a creator. Because only creation has a beginning. God just is. Humans had a beginning, not God. Creation under space and time needs a creator. Not... But in the concept of eternity, which God exists under, He doesn't need He doesn't need for someone to create Him because in eternity it's not really beginning and end. It's just eternity. A second is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a second, pretty much. There is a, time does not exist. I understand that it's hard for us for us humans to gra grasp the, grasp the concept of eternity with with our little understanding. But remember that. Yes, humans had a beginning, but once a human dies, he or she will also step into eternity in heaven or hell. But this does not mean that the human has always existed for an infinite amount of, amount of time. So, so when angels were created, they immediately stepped into eternity, but remember, they were a creation too. Humans did not immediately step into eternity. We first stepped into the space and time, and then once the soul leaves the body, there becomes the concept of eternity. So, um, the soul escapes the laws of space and time, laws of physics, and pretty much eternity begins. So, um, it is wrong to say that God needs a creator because, simply put, He is not subject to physical laws. In space and time, creation has a beginning, end and end. God just is. Think of it this way. Everything under the laws of physics it exists inside a bubble. So, God is not in this bubble, he, stand, he stands outside of it, and once the soul leaves the body, a soul also, um, a soul will step outside of the bubble and go into a concept of eternity. So, so this is what I want to talk about. I know this might be a little hard to understand, but try to wrap your head around it, and also in the description box, I have a message, and um, please spread that message so people can be warned about the coming the things the events that are coming up with the tribulations the second coming of the son of man so they can be better prepared and be saved and so if they're saved and they get raptured they don't have to go through the tribulation that's one more soul added to the bride of christ so please spread that message if you're going to print it out give it to someone if you're going to read it, read it to someone if you're going to post it on your facebook anything you can i'll i'll appreciate it and i'm sure god will appreciate it and Thank you for listening. All glory to God because all glory belongs to Him.